Hey guys, this is Marta here on YouTube and today I wanted to do a first impressions and kind of review video. So I got two things that I wanted to do my first impressions on. The first one is the Smashbox Primer Water, Photo Finish Primer Water that just came to Costa Rica about a month ago, I think, maybe less. Uh, and I've been wanting this since I saw Jacqueline Hill talk about this and then I wanted to do a first impression this is the review and then I wanted to do a first impressions on the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation I have it in 2.2 right yeah 2.2 now this foundation is supposed to be hydrating obviously um, and it's a medium to full coverage and yeah that's it, so I'm just gonna start. This stuff actually smells really good. I actually really, really like this. I would recommend if you have dry skin to apply this after using a moisturizer on your face. Uh, just because if you have really, really dry skin, you're gonna need something else to hydrate it before applying this one. So yeah. Definitely. This is sense what? No. This is silicone free, alcohol free, and something else free. Oil free. And this is what it says. This water is infused with electrolytes to prime by misting to create our sheerest canvas for makeup, hydrate skin for hours, and revitalize complexion to boost radiance. Now this is really hydrating, but again, if you have dry skin, it's not gonna be enough. Uh, this is really good for oily skins, just because you don't have to use your face, your fingers or your hands to apply anything to your face, which is great. Um, when it comes to, it does boost kind of radiance. I'm, yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, you can see I have a little bit of red spots because I've been playing with my skin and I, I just can stop, don't judge. But yeah, this stuff is really good. I've actually tried it before I did this video because, you know, I just got obsessed with it. The first minute I saw Jacqueline Hill use it, I was like, I need that, I need that. And until now, it was able to come to Costa Rica, so I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah, this stuff is great. I definitely have to try it out a little bit more just to find out what kind of more uses that I can do with this. But I definitely recommend this if you can get your hands on it. Now, any viewers from Costa Rica, I got this at Amfora or Siman. Cualquiera, like each of any of those places will work. So, got that. And then any other people out there from United States or Canada, you can get it, get it at Sephora. I don't really know where else you can get it, but... Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the real first impressions. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Now, this stuff, I wanted a different foundation from the one that I have. I have the MAC Face and Body Foundation, and it is really light. You can work it up a bit, but it's going to get until medium coverage if you really know how to use it. You can get it to full without it looking cakey but it's not enough to cover up stuff when I'm working. So I am a makeup artist and I tend to work in production. So normally there's a lot of lights, there's a lot of sweating, there's a lot of heat, there's a lot of running around. So I wanted something that was going to last for a really long time, that is going to be cover, like it's going to cover my whole face and it's gonna stay like that for a long time. So that's why I decided to get this one. Uh, and this is supposed to be good for uh, oily skins and even though it's hydrating it's not going to get oily that is one of the things that girl told me so this is in 2.2 so we're just gonna do this the girl obviously tried it on me just to see if it matched my skin color and it did it does a pretty good job just dot it around and then I start. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I obviously like to start uh, light if I need, if I feel like I need more coverage, I tend to, my lips are so dry, oh my god. I tend to put a little bit more just on the places 
where I need it. Okay, so the best way to apply any foundation in your face is to dot it on. Uh, specifically, if you have a lot of redness on your cheeks, it's better to have uh, something else to apply, like dotting on your foundation is going to make it easier for the brush to actually wrap the product and spread it around. If you apply it with the brush, like directly on the, blot, on the brush and onto your face, you're going to have one big dot of foundation that is probably not going to blend out as easy as you think it might. So just be careful with that. Also, try to really work any foundation you might use onto your face like really work it as you can see in there like really really work it that's the best way to apply any foundation and to stop it looking cakey okay so this is the first uh kind of i normally do just one coat of foundation anyway it looks pretty good it covers up really well without with it being just one it kind of feels tacky in some places, like the places I just applied it to. And then everywhere else it feels normal, like my skin. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look powdery. It covered up most of the reddish tones that I had on my face, which is kind of cool. So now I'm just going to apply my concealer. And I will check back with you to put on powder on one side of my face and then I will be checking in back with you to see how it actually worked on my skin. Okay, so I decided to apply powder all over my face just because that is what I normally do with any foundation. So it's just a way for me to make sure it will work however I normally use it. This is a MAC powder in medium golden. Um, like the sheer powder mineralized skin finish powder in medium golden so I just applied it all over my face and into my neck so I have my face done already the only thing that I just did was apply my Smashbox photo finish primer water if you want to see a tutorial on this look it is in Spanish that's the only thing I have a Spanish channel and an English channel because those are the two languages I speak <laughs> But if you do want to see the tutorial, you can at least hear basically all of the names and you can recreate it by yourself. So I will put the link of that on the description box below. I'm going to check in with back in with you later on. It's 3.20 in the afternoon because I just woke up like two hours ago. And um, yeah, I'm going to let's see how this looks. It's really hot here in Costa Rica lately has been like crazy like humidity and heat and everything and I sweat a lot which is gross to say but it's true so I'm gonna check back in with you later on and I hope you guys like this I'm gonna uh, do a review of this foundation on my blog post um, about two weeks from now so yeah definitely check that out and yeah I hope you guys like this and I will see you in a few hours okay let's see it's 10 20 what 10 18 at night um i have had this three four six six seven eight nine this about seven eight hours um the foundation looks actually pretty good i was dancing and singing and running around in my house um the foundation has held up pretty well the blushes the blush and everything it's uh it's kind of erased here because i was laying down on my bed on that side so that's probably why um, but the foundation has held up pretty well, even after I wash my my uh, my teeth. Uh, the only thing I do have to say, it kind of clings on to dry patches. Uh, I will zoom you in in a little bit, but it seems to be pretty good, pretty okay. Um, here, just kind of between my eyebrows, it's kind of faded a little bit, but again, uh, it's kind of getting into the dry patches so i'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see those dry patches i don't know if you can really tell but right here i have a little uh kind of acne type of thing and it's clinging on to my dry patch right in there which is kind of annoying uh and then here 
here is holding on to them and a little bit on the sides of my nose which is where I normally get uh, those dry patches so that's that I think the foundation is great I think it's gonna last you a long time if you wear it for work or for any events the only thing I do have to see if it if it works good with flash photography uh, that's the only thing I haven't really um, try it which I am going to and I'm gonna put a picture in here it doesn't reflect any flashback which is actually really good at least for me because I take a lot of pictures if you have seen my Instagram you probably know that but yeah so I think I love this foundation this is definitely one of my favorite like full coverage foundations actually the uh, primer water foundation primer thing from Smashbox as well. I don't know if I told you, but that stuff is great for every day. It makes my foundation last a little bit longer and it actually kind of makes the powders on your face just like shrink and not be really noticeable, which is something that I think it's really good. So that is comparable with the MAC Fix Plus. But I think this one has like a little extra thing that makes you look radiant and more beautiful. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, please let me know if you would like more first impressions and reviews. And yeah, I hope, I hope you guys like this and I will see you later. Bye.